okay, well, you have a fully compatible internet browser with this. So you can go into chat rooms, you can go into onto the BBS, of course, and um, you can even use something that is called Google Documents for things like PowerPoint presentations and so on. So the system is, in a way, already able to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if that answers your question, but it, you now can communicate. Can you exchange files? No, for the reason that we want to protect our archives from any external attack, we do not allow you to, ex to directly exchange files with that. So. So are you saying that we can fire all of our support people as soon as we bring this feature? <laughs> well, then that's a maybe. No, no I, I, well, if you say, would it ever be possible? You know, you should never say never. But right now, I don't think that there would be a large benefit from that since, um, I mean, I can even imagine that uh, catastrophic things would happen if I let someone else take control about my editing job. So it's a... Uh, it is, in theory, it is possible, but again, you, at some stage, you would have to be able to send the video over the net in full resolution, because playing back the video and trimming it means that you have to send lots of picture data over, and I'm just not, I don't think that the internet has a high enough bandwidth for allowing you to do this. We would have to, to really make this happening, you would really have to send over a, a bit stream of at least 25 megabits over the net, wh which is already a very hefty burden, so... Um, I don't think it would be something that would be a realistic task for the system. Okay, who was first? This gentleman? Okay. All right. If I upgrade my solitaire to this system, will I be able to use the old software? Um, okay, the answer is yes, you would be able to use the old software, but since we're taking away the C-Cube chip and replacing it with a far modern chip that the old software does not support, you would be limited to VGA-only editing. So you can still use the old software, but it is like you use your modern system now, in, or your solitaire or renome system, and uh, set it to one monitor VGA only operation. That's what, what you would get. It would still be compatible with all your old projects. The preview wouldn't be as good, but I think that's a fair compromise since you usually don't really need anything else but just fine tuning an old project a little bit. Your, okay. My question is um, the difference between your system and the American system, which is pale against NTSC. If you created something back home and then you loaded it to a USB stick, could you send that pale stick to America and could it be read on an NTSC machine here? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. So, for example, if I go to my USB stick here, there is a file on it that is in 50 hertz. We have to leave NTSC and PAL terminology. We have to replace it with 50 hertz and 60 hertz uh, technology. Since PAL and NTSC is a video format that is now uh, out for outdated and old-fashioned, and we, but it's still it's a 50 hertz and 60 hertz frame rate difference, and that difference will probably never go away because it reflects the power frequency. You see power here has 115 volts and it's at 60 hertz, and in Europe it's at 230 volts and it's at clocked at 50 hertz. So this means that you can never get away from it because otherwise all your all your indoor uh, recordings will have a, a, a serious amount of flickering from all the light bulbs that have a different frequency. So 50 hertz and 60 hertz will continue to be a difference. But now this display is set to, 50, to 60 hertz. So if I take my Stadtfest Hagen, which was shot in PAL, you will notice that it plays it back, but there's a certain amount of stuttering in here. And this stuttering is only because of the 50 hertz, 60 hertz issue. 
it is noticeable if you really look at it. I think it is still usable. Uh, and of course, I can switch my display here to uh, 50 hertz and then it would look just fine. It would, there would be no stuttering on here. So these, the standards are now fully compatible since there's no more difference in resolution. It's the same resolution. It's just the frame rate that is different. And that frame rate difference has to be accepted. There's really no way around it. Okay, next question. I have a question about the Blu-ray Blu upgrade. Will we have interactive menus similar to like a DVD menu? Not in the first release. In later releases, that will definitely be the case. For some reason, they have decided to not in ex ex extend the DVD menu standard to Blu-ray. So a menu that you have on a DVD can't be put on a Blu-ray. It would not work. The players would not accept it. In fact, most of the players that are out there would not accept any kind of menu. There are now the first attempts out there to ex establish uh, other formats like the AVC HD standard that allow you, allows you to put some amount of menus on it, but um, the output won't be played by many of the players out there, specifically not if you store it on a Blu-ray. It may, ha may work if you store it on a DVD, but if you store it on a Blu-ray, it usually doesn't work. That's only because of the, uh, the piracy paranoia of the Blu-ray Blu group. So they're very much afraid that the hackers once again crack the copy protection of the commercial discs. So they're very careful. Many players out there would simply refuse to play back any Blu-ray that is a writable medium. They would say incompatible discs. So that in the first uh, release, we are doing what is most compatible, and that is outputting files. So you can save a file to it. That's a high-definition file. And the players will give you a little menu that they assemble automatically. So if you have a few files on it, you can still select your files. OK, thanks. So we have five more minutes. But I'll be around. So should you have further questions, you will certainly be able to grab me somewhere. OK, but again, the files is that um, these files will play back. And you can output files that play on a PlayStation, that play from a DVD, <coughs> that play from a memory stick, that play from a Blu-ray, that play over network. But to, to be able to put a menu in it, I think we have to wait until the industry has settled for something that is a little more compatible. What is the benefit of a DVD, of a, of a Blu-ray menu, if your customer cannot open the disc when you have given it to him? So 